Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. I am Katera Gotti, a licensed realtor serving Georgia and South Carolina, specifically the Augusta, Georgia and surrounding areas. Now today, we're going to go back over to Grovetown, Georgia and talk about the five best neighborhoods that you should look into if you are considering moving to Grovetown, Georgia. Now, if you have not seen my reasons to move to Grovetown, Georgia, make sure you go and watch that video. But just to give you a little bit of information on it if this is your first time watching my channel Grovetown is an up-and-coming area close to our Fort Gordon military base it's uh, very popular with our military community and Millennials and first-time home buyers so if you're looking for something just a little bit more fast-paced than the city of Augusta Grovetown is definitely an area for you to consider so let's get into this video So the first subdivision that we're going to get into is going to be the Crawford Creek subdivision. Now this is a very nice community. It has several different parts within the community. So within Crawford Creek, there are also other subdivisions. Now they still have new construction going on in this subdivision, but of course it is already established. Now, what I like about this community is that it is very, even though it's a little large community, it is strong knit and the community is very close. Now for amenities they have to offer, they have a swimming pool, community pool out there. They have a playground. Um, and then of course they have sidewalks for walking. Uh, what I do love about one of the subdivisions within this area on the Sinclair side is that they actually have a community library. So the residents of this community, they donate books to the library where you can go, you can borrow the book, read it, and then return it. And of course, if you have books to donate, you can do that as well. So that's very unique and I really like that about this community. Now in this community, you can find ranch homes and two-story homes going from a three bedroom all the way up to five bedroom. Now with pricing, it starts about 350K and it goes up to the high 400. Now the second subdivision that we're gonna talk about is going to be the Keylari subdivision. Now I love this subdivision because it's actually centrally located within Grovetown. So you're very close to schools, certain schools you can actually walk to if you desire. Um, it is very close to shopping and dining. They also have nice large ranch homes in this subdivision. They also have two-story homes and then they also go from three bedroom all the way up to five bedroom. Now for amenities that they have to offer in this subdivision, they do have a community pool. They do actually have walking trails out there. And then they are also still building out there. So you still have time to look for you the perfect home out there. Now, when it comes to pricing, it does start in the lower 400 to mid 400. The third subdivision we're going to get into is going to be Canterbury Farm. Now this subdivision is huge. It's actually on 400 acres of development. Now it is very family centered and it has a lot of unique amenities. So out there you will get miles of walking trail. You get a junior Olympic pool. And then in the summertime, they actually have a community pavilion where you can throw summer barbecues. Now in this subdivision, they have a variety of home sites, a variety of home plans, and they actually offer out there even townhomes. Now the pricing in this subdivision um, is more wide range. So you can find a home out there in the high 200s and it can go all the way up to the mid 400s. You can get something um, in the three bedroom range all the way up to the five bedroom range, even homes that have uh, three car garages. So it's a very, very large community. If you're okay with large communities, this is definitely the subdivision for you. And moving right along to our fourth subdivision, that subdivision is going to be right far. Now, I love this subdivision because it's very unique. It is actually the first planned agricultural community within the CSRA area. They are very encouraging in using farm to table practices. They actually have a working farm operation within the neighborhood that, are residents, that the residents can use. 
and they are very focused on healthy living and healthy lifestyle. So if you are about healthy living, clean eating, this is definitely, definitely the subdivision for you. Now, also when it comes to purchasing a home in this subdivision, they actually have four different builders building out there. So that gives you a variety of plans to choose from along with a variety of homes. Now for amenities, they have a dog park out there, they have a playground, and they also have a community pool. Now the homes go from four bedroom to five bedroom and prices start about the mid 300, like the 350 range, all the way up to mid to high 400s. Now this is a rural neighborhood, but you are so convenient to the city that you don't miss out on anything. And our final subdivision is going to be Jackson Heights. Now Jackson Heights is kind of in an area of Grove Town that is really kind of off on its own. It's actually located on property that was formerly a dairy farm. It has an eight acre community pond within the subdivision. And I think this subdivision is great for first time home buyers. It's reasonably priced starting in the low 300,000 range, going up to the mid 400,000 range. Now it's located closely to shopping, dining, and the interstate. So if you're going to be one of those that is traveling um, back and forth for different jobs, it's very convenient to the interstate. And also out of the subdivisions that we've discussed in this video, it is going to be your closest, closest and quickest subdivision to the Fort Gordon military base. Now out here, they have homes going from three bedroom all the way up to five bedroom. You can get wrenched out or two story as well. Now, before we get into concluding this video, I do want to mention that for those that are looking to possibly downsize, several of these subdivisions actually offer townhomes within these communities as well. So if you're not looking for a single family home or don't need as much space, definitely look into our townhomes because that is becoming more popular in our area. Now, I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope it gave you some insight on subdivisions to start looking into if you are considering moving to Grovetown, Georgia. Of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know the next time I drop my new video. And because I want to interact with you on a daily basis, make sure you are following me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Katera the Realtor. Until next time, I'll see you soon.